Okay. It's a place where happy is heard in every zip line and jump. But what you won't hear at We Rock the Spectrum is the noise of video games and electronics that can sometimes, for some kids, drown out the fun. One, two, three. It's the reason Nevin Barrich brings his two sons. Who is our oldest, though, is having sensory issues at times, sometimes with noise, sometimes with, uh, you know, lights like from video games and so forth. So when we brought him here, we saw that this was a type of place that kind of eliminated those distractions. The gym in Agora Hills has been owned by Dana Agassi for the last eight years. Take out the old. But right now, she is fighting to keep it open. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Um, if I was going to close, um, it would have definitely been during COVID. I can bring tears to my eyes. Um, yeah, it's it's a struggle. It's hard for this owner to admit that she needs help. She says many of her clients didn't come back after the pandemic. With back rent to pay and a sometimes empty playroom, she is struggling. But she's still hoping to find new members to stay afloat. Because it's a gym for special needs, they definitely need a place to come. And I just, closing my doors would kill me. This is like my sanctuary. But now the community is rallying behind her again. Reigniting a GoFundMe page hoping to help her get back in the black as she still owes $55,000 in back rent. But what's most important to the families here is spreading the word that these doors are open to all children. Just seems to be a right fit for a lot of different type of kids. And I like that. It's kind of an inclusive place uh, where I feel that everybody feels welcome. And that is the point. Just seeing the kids coming with their parents into the gym and just running in because they're so excited to be here. Um, Nonverbal, verbal, and just the way they are, it just warms my heart. Learning to play with everyone, being active, being creative, and sharing yeah, smiles so all feel welcome. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.